Hey you two, welcome back. Happy Friday, happy single de mayo, feliz single de mayo. Alright guys. So today I'm going to do the test uh, fly for the first time. This is the Pro Mark VR virtual reality drones. Uh, before we go ahead and start it, I'm going to uh, show you the guy on the how to put on the the blade guard or the propeller guard. And this is the VR uh, headset or the goggle glasses that come with it, the 3D 360. But I'm not going to use that for today's uh, flight. I'm just going to use a remote controller. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and then uh, get this started. Oh. Uh, before we get started, I'm going to just show you the real quick how to put on the sticker that come with it. They come with this uh, green, two of the green and then two of the long uh, black decals. The green one, you're gonna go put it on the front right here, the first two axes right here, and then the black one goes to the back. I'm not gonna put it on. As you can see, there's an indentation right here, there are two bars right here, and then two bars over here. and that's where you put it on. And this uh, camera is removable. You just unplug this uh, 3.5 millimeter jack and then uh, slide forward, push the button right here. And then just uh, unplug that plug. But you gotta be gentle, okay? If you do it too hard, you're going to break it, the cables. And this is the antenna to maneuver the, the angle for your camera. You put the memory card in the, uh, on the back of it, the micro SD card. So yeah, I'm gonna show you the, you gotta remove the cover real quick. You just pull it out straight. Okay, and then this is the, the cover. So once you remove that, you're gonna put the blade guard in there, just like this, and then just uh, push in. You could put the two screws that come with it and screw in, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to remove all four of them. And then uh, just put it in straight. There are some users, uh, they crush it and then somehow they break the guardrail. So it is uh, pretty fragile. Because this uh, drone is kind of heavy, so once you crush it, you're going to break the plastic. So hopefully when I uh, do the test flight today, it's not going to crash and break it. That's why I didn't put the two screws, because uh, if you put the two screws, it has more impact, and that would uh, break it. So if you got a guard, uh, blade guard, and then you, you don't remove the, you, you don't put the screw in, Hopefully we crash it and just uh, come apart. So I'm gonna put this aside right now. Make sure your battery is fully charged. And put the sticker away or it's gonna fly away.
So you want to go ahead and then uh, power on the drone by pressing the button, the power button right here. And you will flash. So the front of the drone is the two white LED and then on the back is the green and the red, okay? Then you go ahead and then uh, turn on your controller. And now it's flashing and fast and after that it's blinking slowly. You wanna go ahead and then uh, put, go up your throttle and push up and down. Okay, and once, I'm gonna put the speed low so I don't wanna crash it. Then you gotta press this one to uh, start your uh, drone, okay? The launch uh, button. And once you, turn, you push that, that propeller is gonna start. All ready? Okay, I'm gonna use my other camera to uh, film it up there. Okay, so let me get that started. So with this uh, camera uh, angle, I'm gonna focus on this uh, re uh, controller and my other uh, camera up there is gonna focus on the drone, all right? So press the auto launch. <laughs> This is to tell the angle.
切。You hear that buzzy noise? The only problem is that sometimes when I change the the camera angle, and the motor just keep on making that noise. So you had to adjust it again in order to take out the noise. But when you're in a fly, it's so noisy, and then there's no way to see what's What's your camera doing? So when you're recording up there in the sky, it's gonna record that noise. See? And then uh, this is this is the button to change the angle, the the camera angle. See? It doesn't uh, make the noise on the controller, so you don't know if the motor is making that noise or not. So you gotta toggle it down. See, when I press it one time, it's still making that noise. Still making that noise. So I guess uh, when you toggle it down, and you gotta press up again to cancel that noise, or so I'll take it out. See? And I gotta press up one more time in order to remove it. Still making a little bit noise. So I press two times. So that's the only uh, cons about that. <sighs> so I'm not sure why the 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 blade I was on it was uh, hitting the wall too. So it's kind of weird. Anyway, I'm glad I did not crash today. So that is the my first flight. And I didn't want to go outside because it's kind of windy out there. I don't want to crush it. So today's flight was on the lowest uh, speed. And then you could always uh, change the speed higher by pressing this button. That's speed 2, speed 3, speed 4. And I think flashing was that turbo mode. And when you're making that noise, that means uh, that is the highest speed. So what? One, two, three, four. Let's test this out and see. Hopefully it's not gonna crash. That's a higher speed. Holy 
Okay, that's a freaking fast speed. I'm not gonna test it out here. That is too fast. Almost crash, running towards me. I don't know, man. You can see the black thing. It's like a grease or something coming off on the motor. So anyway, you could uh, control the drone with your smartphone, but uh, a lot of people kind of complaining because uh, sometimes you lose a Wi-Fi and then you're going to lose connection and your drone might just uh, crash. You see that black thing that's coming off on the inside this cap? So I can wipe it up. But why is that camera making that noise again? See? Anyway, this is uh, from Walmart for $148. But unfortunately, I went to uh, eBay and checked it out. They have some for $99, $105. So I'm going to go ahead and return this one. And uh, if I decide to keep it, I'll just go ahead and buy on eBay. Because $148 plus tax, that's, gonna, that's a lot of money. I could save about $50 bucks or $60. Bucks. Anyway, this is my full uh, in-depth uh, review about this uh, drone. Hopefully, you guys uh, give a thumbs up and like the video and uh, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't do so yet. And uh, share, comment, and turn on your notifications. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Happy Friday and happy single day mile. Peace out, guys.